How can an attacker bypass the next-gen antivirus EDR or NDR? I had this conversation with a client a few days ago, and he was asking if these state-of-the-art AI-based tools are bypassable or not, and how the attacker can bypass them. And um, in general, the AI-based or the, the machine learning in nutshell is basically based on, on one thing. The, the company that produce these products, they collect lots of information about legitimate applications, about legitimate domains, legitimate browsing or updates or legitimate activities. And they, they look at all of these legitimate activities and compare them to the malicious uh, activities, collect lots of malware samples and run them, see their behavior, see their system behavior, how they communicate with the, with the CNC and so on. And with that, they can have a distinctive or the antivirus tool or the ADR or the NDR can have a distinctive features, distinctive uh, pattern between malicious uh, tools or malicious applications or malicious domains and legitimate ones. And when there is any new application runs on a system, this antivirus starts to monitor that application, look at its activities, see if this, if its activities are on the side of being malicious or are on the side of being uh, legitimate. Different companies and different products, they have different ways of uh, of different algorithms to basically build these AI-based tools, different features you look at, and different levels of complexity. But this is the idea in a nutshell. For an attacker to bypass these tools, he will need to have lots of try and error, but the whole idea will be to make the malware behavior, the malware activity, err on the side of being legitimate than being malicious. For example, rather than just the malware runs in the background uh, or copy itself to the temp folder of the application data, run in the background, save itself in the um, uh, maintain persistence or save itself to run every time the system restarts and then it starts communicating to a specific domain, which is a, a, a normal pattern for a malicious behavior for a malware, it can actually show a window, save it, um, register itself in the tray icon, uh, create a, uh, a, um, a shortcut on the on the start menu or in the desktop or something like that. With a little bit of social engineering, the malware can get away with that, and it will look very legitimate for the antivirus tools or for the EDR or for the um, or forever the tool is running there, as well. To communicate with the, with the CNC, rather than sending a GET request or a POST request or sending lots of binary data or base64 data without looking like a normal uh, browsing uh, activity or normal update activity, the malware can actually simulate a complete browsing experience where he, he log into the home page of a specific website or the CNC website, download the fav icon, the sitemap if it's if it's needed, or the different um, uh, different JavaScript files, different CSS files, and as well follow specific links inside the home page. And with that, the malware can uh, receive its own commands, maybe in one of the pictures being downloaded in a BNG file. And the whole uh, the whole command is being uh, saved inside this picture using steganography. And the same for the uh, for the for the malware, it can upload different pictures or upload different files where the malware uh, the malware results or the malware data is being uh, saved inside these files with uh, steganography as well. Maybe he's uploading a picture, and inside the picture, in the last significant bit or whatever, the data is being saved there. Wherever that is happening, the malware can simulate a real browsing experience from. Uh, from rendering different pages or from downloading different pages to follow links to download JavaScript, uh, legitimate JavaScript, uh, JavaScript files, sees files that looks completely legitimate, bootstrap or jQuery or normal files that every website has. And with simulating all of this, he can make this uh, domain looks like a normal uh, website. The whole um, all the requests and all the responses looks completely like a browsing experience. With that, the malware 
activity, the malware network activity will err on the side of being legitimate rather than being uh, rather than being malicious. So these tools are still bypassable. Whatever the, the algorithm is, it's still bypassable. Maybe lower chances, maybe it has way less chances for the malware to bypass these activities, at least for the known malware we see nowadays in the world. But if there is a targeted attack and the attacker knows that you have this state-of-the-art products or they become way mainstream, the, the attackers will find a way to bypass these tools. So how we can still protect ourselves from target attacks, from these attacks that can bypass our security controls? The answer is multi-layer security. You should not only rely on the security control or only trust 100% your security technologies. You need to have a cybersecurity awareness in your, in your organization. This is a super important step in your, in your cybersecurity uh, process. You need to have a high skilled security team. You need to have processes in place, threat hunting process, an instant response process. And with all of that, you will minimize the risks to get attacked by a target attack or a ransomware attack. Hopefully that video is useful. And um, as you might know already, we are actually providing services for um, for uh, for companies to help them improve their security posture, go beyond just the log analysis or go beyond just SOC operation with um, with with security controls and move one step further to really build a secure organization have threat hunting in, pre, in place threat hunting process in place have uh, incident response uh, in place incident response process in place and as well we help with different trainings with um, with threat detection process and as well with our uh, security coming security tool which is the mantra counter if you have any question about what we offer if you want to schedule a call with us just get to a chat together see what you already where you already at and how we can help you move forward just click on the link up below uh, up there or or below this video and let's get to chat together meanwhile see you in the next video bye bye